Hey guys, in today's hey guys, in today's episode we are making a tomahawk out of a railroad spike. Now this is a collaboration with Jake Makes and he is making a cane sword and then the Happy Mad Scientist too, he is making some type of railroad spike pistol. Both of their channels will be linked in the description. Be sure to go check out their videos. But anyway, in this episode we're making a tomahawk or a hatchet out of a railroad spike. Alright, not going to lie, I am getting a little bit tired, uh, I have rolled up my sleeves and everything, it's pretty hot in here, even though it's January, but I would be less tired if I had a, if I had a power hammer, but the only powers I ha hammers I have are these, and that's not very much at this point. So, we're doing okay, we're going to get this thing finished up, but for right now, we're going to go over the design so you know what I'm going for and you don't get mixed up while I'm finishing up the project. Okay, so in the end, this is what we're going for right here. Just something with a, a nice size blade. I mean, not going to go for anything. But it's not going to be too big just because it's out of a railroad spike. But the main idea is this right here. So for the, uh, instead of drifting a hole for the back end for the handle to go, we're going to have to bend it around and weld it because I don't have a drift. So we're going to have to make this circle. That's why I was drawing out the back is we're going to have to draw this out far enough to, w to uh, wrap it around and then weld the end here. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the uh, tomahawk here and we're going to take this back end here that's going to be wrapped around and we're going to get it ground nice and flat on both sides so that we have uh, no problems when we go to do the welding. Okay, so now that we've got the blade where we want it, we got to get this, I already hit it with a file a little bit, but now i got to hit it with a wire brush and get it real clean so we can set the weld.
Well, this is Luke from the future, and I realized I didn't say anything about what I'm about to do. I'm about to heat treat the tomahawk. I need to get the old port, everything like that. We'll heat treat it. We'll get the final sanding done, and then we'll jump into the handle, which I made from scratch. You'll see how that goes. Let's get this thing cleaned up and then we're gonna have to start working on the handle. Okay, so I got the handle carved down, so now we're just gonna try to get this on here. Kinda get it set in. We don't wanna set in yet because I'm not finished grinding, but we just wanna get it right. And then we'll finish the grinding. Okay, so now I gotta finish the grinding, and then it'll be finished up. We'll put it on the handle, and we'll have a complete project. All right, so what I've just done is I've put some bold linseed oil on the tomahawk head, and I put some bold linseed oil and a couple other things on here just to try to seal this up. This, the handle is super rugged looking, and that's kind of what I was going for. I wanted this whole thing to look super rugged, like this was forged basically by me because I can't make things perfect. And then the handle is gonna look super rugged because I've never made a tomahawk handle before. I think this turned out okay. If it breaks, I know it's not good wood. You don't have to tell me it's not good wood. I know it's not good wood, but if it breaks, I'll go cut another piece of wood and make another one. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I got the handle slid on. Now I'm just gonna get it off all the way. Okay, so what I've just added is I've added a string on the back, and I'm pretty sure it took me longer to get this string threaded through the hole than it did to make the whole tomahawk. But, I finally got it through. Did not get it on camera because it would have used up like 128 gigabyte card. But, for right now what we gotta do is we gotta get this knot tied. All right, so I don't have a lighter out here with me, but I am gonna burn these ends. Okay, we are back. And I chickened out and put stain on it off camera. I just redid the whole thing and put stain on it. It is green wood. Another mistake on handle making on my part. But anyway, I think I got it finished up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a leather sheath. So all that we have to do now is test this thing. The longer I began to look at this, the more I realized it really just does not look that great. The blade doesn't look that great. So we are scratching everything I had completed and we are gonna take a sanding disc here and we are going to take off all this roughness on the blade to make it look nice and clean. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of hand sanding just to try to get it nice and pretty up.
we got the tomahawk or hatchet, whatever you want to call it. We got it finished up. Now my blacksmithing skills are way better than my grinding skills. My grinding skills, sanding skills, handle making skills, everything are not that great. But my forging is pretty good. I mean, it took a year of classes. It's okay. But my handle making skills and everything else, they're, they're pretty lacking. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The handle could have definitely been better and out of some better wood. And then the tomahawk turned out okay. It's really sharp and it worked really good in the test. But I just would have liked for it to be a little bit prettier and just look a little bit better overall. But anyway, thank you for watching. Again, be sure to go check out Jake Makes channel and the Happy Mad Scientist. Both of those will be linked in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.